They are a gift, but it's it is a manifestation. Of, that it is, is God. A manifestation. God touching somebody yes. and healing them. It's not That's me. I don't exactly. have this gift. It's God. Oh, He might use. I allowed us God as to come tools. out. He yeah. may use but different people. We don't people, do the healing, but we because, don't do it. He it, does. It. It's a manifestation of the Spirit. Remind people of that yeah. all the time that they, you know, it's it's God. First doing Corinthians it. twelve, yeah. Yeah. And so and when I 12. have people that have uh, been in ministry for many years, start, you know, they they know such so much scriptural, but I call them the wisest fools because they don't really walk in it, but yeah. they know it. They, they know, know the they word. They're puffed up with knowledge. Oh yes. Yep. But they don't walk in it. They don't walk in grace. They don't walk in forgiveness. They don't. And I, it's amazing to me. But you can tell when you come up on somebody and they're broken and they're, oh, and they're yes. ready. And, and well, Matt, you have to be gentle to with them because now they're ready, you know. But exactly. there's some people that you got to use dynamite. That heart is so hard. They've got to hear the law of God. They've got to understand that they're heading to hell. That's right. They just think they're good people. They're religious, maybe. They're a Pharisee. That's right. Well, they, don't think, they don't know that, that they're. they're the religious are more sick. in trouble than, you know, just the lowly person. And that's why God's road. using women sometimes. I mean, the men are. At the sleep at the wheel in the yeah. in the church, so God's going You're again asleep. to women. He's using women in to break many, their yoke, you yeah. know. Because and I, and it's where we're at, you know. It's just the church is so. He will use any vessel that's willing. Amen. You know, and he will. I mean, if he can, he make spoke a through a donkey. Talk. There you go. There Amen, you go. Sister. The donkey. I'm, yeah. I'm a donkey. Hey. Yeah. And I always what? say, you know, when people say you're a minister, and I said. You don't look like a minister. I said, well, hallelujah. God hath chosen the foolish things of the world. And Me I and said, you. Hallelujah. And I said, you know why? It's because I was willing to do it. It just takes a willing person. Amen. And and I said, you know, God can make a donkey talk. He, he can, can use me. Yeah. I yeah. use that a lot. Yeah. And I said, he can use you too. And I said, you know, it's actually when I talk to these ministers and people going, called into ministries, I said, you know, it's your responsibility. It is your responsibility. They're all there. It's already been set up for you. You know, everything's been measured out for you. We need to get back to repentance and holiness. Yes. I mean, that's how we, that's how we get in fellowship with God, so that's that we right. can go out and, and do the work of the ministry. The work of the ministry is not going to get done in power. Because how until can we, you do that? Lead people unless you do that. You're you're, you're blind yourself. You're, that's you're, right. You're separated from God yourself. And 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 if you tell people you can't stop sinning, why would they even try? Exactly. Know? So we got to start preaching that it's, you know defend holiness and attack sin, not the That's other right. way around. People defend right. sin and attack holiness. That's, That's right. out of well, order. That, the world has come to that a little bit. And, but. The, and then Calvinism is a big cancer. You know, it's making God the the author of sin. You know, that's yeah. not true. You know, I believe in moral government theology. You know, that God's the king. You know, and he's ruler of his universe, and he has a kingdom and he has laws and. And uh, sin is breaking his law. We're not under the law of Moses. I don't have to get a dietary plan or circumcised. Exactly. We don't I don't have, have to keep to the Sabbath. Well. I don't have to tithe. You know, this, this stuff's not required in the no. New Testament. You can give 10%. We don't have to give a, you know. But if, but if you're tithing, you be right with God. Sacrifice animals ever. I just shared sure that. You don't have to sacrifice of course anymore. Not. The blood has already been shed for you. But I have to never murder, never exactly. steal, never lie, don't commit adultery, have That's no right. other gods, don't bow down to idols the Ten Commandments I mean, that's right I mean, there is there is the, the main the main key besides the spirit that and the spirit yeah, moving man. in the have spirit have you received the spirit since you believe it? amen that's I mean right. a lot of people have and they, they believe well they won't move in it it's like they're afraid to move in it but they you know it's there for them they have a measure yeah. they've been given a measure yeah I think we but we have to go back to the you know the first principles of the oracles of God, repentance from dead work. Many that's people right. haven't even got done that yet. You need to go back, repent of your dead well, work, they, and they, then have faith towards God. They don't understand why their ministries are not growing, and it's because of that. Well, and, and your ministry you, should be declining like Jesus did. He started big and it went down to nothing, and then everybody first took him. I mean, if you're if you're growing well, and not making disciples, you, disciples right. is what you want, you know. What you do is you want to make disciples and get yeah. people to get out and, and spread it out. Yeah. And that's the whole point. It's yeah. not just to grow a ministry, yeah. uh, but to actually make disciples to grow other ministries or, you know what I'm saying, get out there. Sure. And that is the whole point. And I think that more people should be doing that. If you're a minister and you really want to do something, start helping other ministers that's develop right. themselves to go out on the streets or start ministries that can, you know, uh -huh. target more areas. So how long, you gonna be, how long are you going to be in Hawaii? I will be here for another week and a half. 
Yeah, we I go out in the streets and do open air preaching, and uh, we we wow. give out do tracting. I mean, you're totally welcome to join. I'd like some of your um, stand on the corner or, or anything, any kind of uh, stuff up. Uh, well, here's what I give out usually to people in my right, cab. Perfect. But I also give out Gideon Bibles. I'm a Gideon here in Hawaii. You know? Oh, yeah, Gideon too. I'm a Gideon too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Love the Gideons. Uh, they're kind of getting away from the King James Bible. They they're using the ESV now, which I, is a Roman Catholic Bible. But yeah, uh, but I think they're doing that just because they want to get in the church building to get money. You know, sadly, right. the, yeah. the newer whoever is in, in the Gideons at the top, they don't know the Bible version controversy. But uh, they're still publishing the King James version, which is why I still remain a, King, a, a Gideon. I'll leave them the day they stop doing that. Because I believe the King James is the perfect word of God. It's an error. It's not. There's no errors or contradiction, and it doesn't trace back to Rome like the other versions right. do. And uh, there's a lot of different versions. I have uh, people that have that, but they have many different type of translations. Have you heard of the Queen James Bible? Queens? No. Queen James Bible? You have it? Oh yeah. Google it. It's got a rainbow cross on it. The Gay Bible. Oh, you're, you're kidding. kidding. I'm not kidding you. I bought it. Oh. I bought it on Amazon, and I took it to the range and shot it and made it holy. <laughs> oh wow! <laughs> it's holy. Oh well. Yeah, you know, but you know, I would never do that to a homosexual. But I will do that to their homosexual yeah, Bible. Well. They took the King James Bible and took eight verses and changed them, so they removed I, the doctrine. I really of think that the way that we can change uh, things around us is how we live uh, our own examples. And, well, I think and we're getting more people saved and turned back to God because That's, there's a hopelessness, and I, I think that. We need to bring back hope. We gotta do God more than I mean. We're commanded to live holy. That's that should be a given. But we need to go out and preach the gospel to oh, to, yeah. to to sinners. Send people out. Yes. Because I tell, tell people them. that come into my meetings, the door meetings, I tell them, I say, you, you know, this isn't just for you here. Yeah. What you get fed here, you need to go out and be using it, doing well, something. The gospel is not bring invite somebody to church. The gospel no. is go out ye out into the world and preach That's the gospel right. to every exactly. creature. And every preacher don't want to hear it. They don't want to hear it. And so if you you're know, if you're if you have a, a sin God loving God hating crowd that is belligerent to your message, you're in the right place. Well, and the thing is, you know, I always tell everybody, you really don't know ministry if you, unless you do. And that's not putting anybody down that has a church. But I'm talking about people going out and doing some kind of evangelist ministry of that way, one on one with people counseling, uh -huh. uh, bringing somebody to the Lord. She has done plenty of sure. counseling and everything through the years the 40 years of ministry she has been in mm -hmm. but uh you know i said everybody ought to try to go on some kind of mission trip sometime it'll change their lives but if you're not doing it in your own backyard you're why would you go well, to you can do it well you should, your, your your neighborhood ought to know you're a christian they've ought to been exactly they've all got to have a gospel track at least exactly. you know before you head out to another i mean why would you neglect the people within one mile radius well of there's yourself? plenty of people doing it uh yeah. you know in some of the areas i live but yeah. Uh, I like to get people out, and I've taken people into third world countries to appreciate what they have. Yeah, it's easy to preach over there because they, they're so they, desperate. They're desperate, yeah, man. But most people, like in Hawaii, man, this place is so wicked because everybody has money and they're they're yeah. here on vacation to blow money, and they think every life is so good. That what do they need God for? You know, I'm a good person. Well, the world is, you know. So the message I have to preach yeah. here is a lot harder than I would in like Honduras, you know. Oh, they're desperate there, but it's still a good example yeah. because people I gotta come and get, sin here. get their uh, idea that, you yeah. know, they don't really know what's going on in the rest of the world or what other people are deprived from. And it does wake them up and make them mm -hmm. more thankful. Sure. You know, and I, I like doing that is making people understand what they actually have because people take it for granted what they have. Yeah. Well, I have a website, youdeservehellcenter.com, and it leads to a website or to a YouTube video that explains what biblical salvation is. And it's not going to church, it's not paying 10%, it's not, you know, doing all this religious activity. It's not the law. Christianity is having a personal relationship with that God, is the truth. realizing I am sick, I need a physician. I need Jesus, and you I can't the get great there. Physician. And I'm coming to him, and I'm not self-righteous, you know, like these Pharisees that were talk, he was talking exactly. to in Luke. We have modern day Mark Pharisees chapter two. now. Yeah, they're everywhere, you know. Yes. They've been preaching Jesus loves you so much that homosexuals believe it, you know. Yeah. So, oh, good, I'm good then, you know. So well, I believe in Jesus. We're praying for I'm them good. too, okay? We're praying for them. Yeah, but that, that's one of the sins. That is one of the sins that brings God's wrath, you know, on a, on a nation. And then when we sit there and just become tolerant of it, tolerance is a cult. 
We need to come against tolerance. If I love black people, I will not tolerate the KKK. That exactly. Right. If I love Jewish people, I'm not going to tolerate Nazis coming into the town and cutting their heads off, right. or Muslims or anybody. If I love children, I will not tolerate pedophile priests touching them. I'm going to go stand out in front of your Catholic church and, and condemn it all because it's all mystery of Babylon. And, you know, if I love God, I'm not going to tolerate sin. And so sin is well, the problem. Well, we have to pray. And like I said, I will say it again. We have to pray for sinners, all sinners. Of course. Before you know, we go out and preach, you should pray that God would pr get through to them. You know, but we also and need we to go tell them. Right, because you know, many people. You How know, will they know about a preacher? Really, even when they're living in sin, whether they're alcoholics, drug addicts, whatever, mm -hmm. uh, they are they are unhappy inside. They don't fear they're God. They're trying to. They don't fear God, but many times they're very lost inside. And sometimes. And that's where Satan gets them yeah. caught up. Is that they're looking for meaning in their life, and and when you understand that psychology, that is what a lot of people even if they get deep into sin they're trying to look for something to fulfill them but it's the wrong thing to fulfill them and that's so that's, what, that's what we have to pray is we have to pray for god for there to be some way uh, a prayer or you know to intercede something to come into their lives we just mm -hmm. pray no matter what the sin is that god intercede some way some avenue so some different position some different perspective on how to get through to the people. I believe it's open air preaching. I believe it's oh, one on one. Yes. I believe it's tracting. I believe it's, it's giving a Bible. The, it's it's, all it's the everything. Above. It's all it's, above. But the most neglected is going out and on preaching. One. Not more than that. Preaching to public sin. That's in. That's publicly sinning. Let's go to a gay bar and set up a sign that says homosexual sin and make them angry and then bring it up that well, hey, I don't you're, know if I want to make them angry.